Look at that. I've never actually even seen one of those. That is a hummingbird paper graph. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today our travels took us up to Oklahoma City in Oklahoma and you know me, I cannot go to a new town without immediately checking out any local tackle shops that I can find. Unfortunately today, between the big box stores and the pandemic, local tackle shops like this are few and far between. But I was lucky enough to find Lucky Lures here in Oklahoma City. It is an awesome locally owned place. I think it's been here for about 11 years or so. They've got a ton of really cool baits, really cool local baits that I've never seen before. And as you guys will see, there is a fishing artifact or two that will make most of my bass and buds pretty jealous. So we're gonna go inside real quick. I've gotta get on the road, but I did want to give a quick little tour of the Lucky Lure Tackle in Oklahoma City. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, one of the coolest parts about this shop is that literally on the perimeter, it's decorated with some very vintage fishing artifacts. You guys gotta check out some of the different stuff. There's a bunch of old fish finders up behind me. There's trophies, there's tournament shirts. <laughs> This place is nuts. Look at that. That is an old Lowrance fish locator. Uh, that's probably some sort of ice fishing job there. Nice old spin cast reel. Look at that. I've never actually even seen one of those. That is a hummingbird paper graph. Oh man, I remember uncles used to have one of those on their sport fishing boat. I've never seen one from Hummingbird though as well, but this is pretty wild. I mean, literally, you need to buy rolls of paper for this and it would go through, but look at the quality of that image. By the way, um, if you're gonna capture one day, they probably had a pretty good day of fishing then, huh? Here's some more good old stuff. <laughs> so this is the same fish finder we've got on the old retro wagon. Of course, they've since converted this one into a clock. That's the first shelf I saw, but there's a couple other shelves up here that will show you just some pretty wild stuff. I'm guessing this has something to do with the name of the place being the Lucky Lure Tackle. This is Go For Lucky Lures, the best baits at any tackle shop, Paw Paw Bait Company. Uh, that is an oldie, but a goodie. Okay, so here are some bass fishing tournament artifacts. So check out this hat from the Red Man Tournament Trail, 10 anniversary, 1983 to 1993. If they let me walk out with that hat, you know I'd be wearing it. Just talking to Bill who works here, he said this uh, trophy was donated by Kenyon Hill, who won the Pride of Georgia on Clarks Hill Lake in 2008. Uh, Bassmaster Elite Trophy. That's actually really cool. I've never seen one of those in person. That thing looks pretty heavy. Nice falcon hat. Oh, there's a uh, an old Johnson spin cast reel. I don't know if that's a citation or not, but that looks like it might be. And check out that tackle box. If you guys don't think I'd fish half the stuff that's in there. See some old bombers, some Uncle Josh up top, a fin fin. Okay, so this is pretty hard to see, but right in the corner here, there's a whole display of antique lures. These things are awesome. I think I have about half of these in my tackle box as we speak. So what do I see in here? Um, 
There's a lot, a lot in here. I mean, I see an old Bass Arena. I see some Pico Perches. Lucky 13s. There's a nice Bagley Small Fry. Uh, that looks like a, uh, that's a Lazy Ike. Ooh, look at that. That's the original Pico Perch with the old school tail. Nice Wiggle Wart. River Runt. Man, there's just so much in here. A Thin Fin. Original bomber. It's a nice old jitterbug. Let's see a Pico Popper. Oh, look at that. I've never even seen that. That is cool. That is a, if I can get the glare off of that. That's a head and prowler. That is really cool. Um, it's hard to see with the glare, but that's actually a really bigger prowler. And check out that. That's awesome. The classic Lazy Ike with that sort of bomber eye style. I'm standing below one of the coolest walls in this place. Up above me are four different jerseys that were donated by different pro bass fishermen and a few of these names I think you guys are going to recall. Uh, so right there we've got a ranger jersey from Peter T, which is pretty awesome. Look at this, oh man, Guido Hibden. Oh, I have been jonesing to do a Guido Hibden episode for quite a while. I've got some original Guido bugs that, um, and actually Guido tubes as well from Worm King. And you see there's the Lucky Strike logo. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, here we've got a pretty sweet Kenyon Hill uh, jersey. By the way, Kenyon is the son of the late Dr. Lauren Hill, uh, inventor of all things color selector. So that is pretty sweet. Um, I don't see a color selector uh, <laughs> logo on there, but maybe there should be. And last we see Dion Hibden, so Guido Hibden's son's jersey as well. Um, that's pretty cool. So they've got four awesome jerseys just hanging. So after our last stop in Mountain Home, Arkansas, I got lit up by a few of my bass and buds for leaving some pre pragco bandits on the rack. I've actually identified the bandit section here, and I've got a pretty strong hunch that some of these are pre pragco brand. We'll, um, we'll flip a few of these over, we'll check it out, but there's definitely some pretty crusty looking packages, which is always a good sign. <laughs> you know, it's not often, but if you look for a little bit of yellowed plastic, to me, that is old school gold. Okay, so here are all the bandits here. I'm not super knowledgeable about all the bandit baits, but I've got a pretty strong suspicion that there might be some pre pradcos in here. So if you look at, I see a bunch of really pristine packages and you come across something that looks like that. Nice yellowed. I think that is the original bandit logo. Now I'll flip this thing over on the back and what does it say? Bandit lures. Um, Cold Springs Road in Sards, uh, Mississippi. I don't know if that's pre pride coat or not, but that looks pretty old timey. Here's another one. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think, if that's old school or not. But we'll check that thing out on the back. So there's Bandit Lures and Alabama Crawl. Same deal doesn't mention Pradco on it, so I'm thinking that might be pre-Pradco. Drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know if you think any of these are pre-Pradco uh, pre or not. I'll probably be back here not too long, so I'm going to grab a few for now, just in case. You guys can tell I've been on a little bit of a Cotton Cordell kick as of late. Pretty wild. I know that this is not a discontinued bait, the Fred C. Young Big O. But to be honest with you, it's not a bait that you see too often on the shelf in most tackle shops. And this is actually that larger size of the Big O, which is pretty cool. There's one in a very nice classic sort of chartreuse pattern. And that one, man. That almost looks old timey, doesn't it? That's pretty cool, but I actually prefer that larger size of the Big O than the really small one, and that's pretty awesome. 
and some other goodies from Cotton Cordell. We've got the Boy Howdy. Of course, the bait that I just picked a few up of, the old red fin. These are not the jointed red fins. So if it's not gonna be old school, I at least want it to be local. And this is a display of some spinner baits that I have never seen before. It's called the Georgia Blade. I will show you this. It's a pretty wild looking spinnerbait blade with a pretty unique shape that I've, I've never seen before. I don't know if this is a national company or not. We'll, we'll check it out and I'll flip over a few of the packages so you guys can get a better look. Okay, so let's check this thing out. So this is called the Georgia Blade Premium Spinnerbait. First off, that is a pretty wild looking spinnerbait all said and done. First off, that head shape is really unique. And then check out that blade. So that blade has a, a pretty funky angle at the top of it. You can see that there. It's almost, it's a willow leaf blade, but it sort of goes in right at the eye. Huh, really well. Here's another one you can check out. Another premium Georgia Blade Ultra Vibe. And that's a pretty good representation of that really wild looking willow leaf blade. I've never heard of that company before. So let's see, so no contact information on the back, just the price. Let's see if there's a website down below. So it's www.georgiablade.com. Okay, I'll drop a link to that down below. That's pretty cool. Um, so it looks like it comes in a, a half ounce, which is what this is. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce. And it says it comes in a quarter, a three quarter, and a one ounce, but I don't see any of those on the shelf. But all in all, pretty sweet baits. Oh, and just over here, look at that. The original Lunker Lure. Man, I still love that bait. And I don't know what it is that Lunker Lure does, but for some reason, they're still able to make living rubber skirts when everyone else can't. And that is actually a really good looking uh, living rubber skirt. The original 3 8 ounce Lunkalore buzz bait. Well, this thing immediately grabbed my attention. <laughs> Beaver bottom baits. <laughs> I have no idea. That's an awesome name. So these are pretty cool. So these look like these are some sort of, um, I'm imagining that's like a crappie bait or something like that. It's like a little beaver tail, but it's a grub. So that's pretty cool. It says Beaver bottom baits. I don't even see a website, so I don't know if this is a local brand or not. I'll have to check them out. Um, but they've got one heck of a sweet logo. <laughs> and these, by the way, come in some really cool colors, so check that out. So that's, uh, put my hand behind it so you can see the logo. Beaver bottom baits, and you can look at that bait. So that's a little tiny grub, and that totally has a little beaver tail. And I'm guessing that you fish that thing on that sort of jig head. So that's gotta be a crop bait of some sort. It's a pretty wild color, so look at that, orange. Ooh, there's an old time you probably don't see too often. Nice pumpkin chartreuse. Oh, and there's another old timey color, the old blue with the pink, or as they call it, uh, identity crisis. Anybody want any sassy shads? Oh, that's a monster pack of sassy shads. We used to use those for stripers quite a bit. Here they are in some chartreuse. And it's sort of like a phantom shad color. Well, Bass and Buds, hopefully you enjoyed our mini tour of the Lucky Lure Tackle Company. Until next time, shop local and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.